Calcium alpha ketoglutarate is one of the most promising anti-aging supplements out there. In both animals and humans, it's been shown to increase lifespan as well as health span. So CAAKG is a stabilized form of alpha ketoglutarate, so it has a calcium uh, substrate attached to it just to help with absorption. There is another form with arginine, which I'll get onto in a minute. Before I go into the reasons why I'm supplementing with it, I'll go over those studies and some uh, longevity uh, mechanisms of action. So uh, with the, the first one I'm looking at is it had a staggering eight year reduction in biological age. This is with a supplement called Rejuvenant. It was using the Horvath clock, which is a Gen 1 clock and it's not the most predictive of health outcomes but there is another human study with it granted there's not as many people the uh, rejuvenant one had 42 and this one using the nova supplement had 11 people and it, this supplement contains 230 milligrams of caakg so not very much and they saw out of those 11 participants they were using the denundin pace clock which is much more predictive of health outcomes it being a gen 3 clock so it's changed over 50 years looking at health outcomes in a longitudinal study with a thousand participants and then uh, when you actually compare the facial aging of these people aged 45 at a longevity conference they actually asked people's feedback on how old they think they are and they all thought the people in the middle the average look 45 and the ones that were the youngest on the end of the spectrum, they thought about 10 years younger, so 35 and then 55 for the fastest aging. So it does very much reflect, it's a good well-trained clock, Like, and I see skin aging as a good indicator of health and vitality, and it's well correlated with many other aspects of quality of life, like grip strength, one leg balance, and cognitive decline. So back onto that study, 73% out of those 11 people, so 8 out of 11, had a big reduction in pace, their pace of aging. And in the others, it was negligible. So promising results from that Nova study. Granted, there are other longevity supplements in that formula, but I think the alpha-ketoglutarate is a key component of that. So AKG influences metabolic pathways, activating AMPK, the energy sensor in your body. So it mimics caloric restriction, which is a proven method of extending lifespan. One interesting benefit of AKG is it uh, inhibits SASPs, which are senescence-associated secretory phenotypes. And I do keep an eye on biomarkers of cellular senescence, so I'll get into that shortly. AKG also uh, is a cofactor for TET enzymes, which uh, regulate DNA demethylation. As we get older, our methylation pattern changes. For example, certain tumor suppressor genes get turned off, they're methylated. So this helps with that process, just uh, resetting the cell to a more youthful state. And also it works on histone modification. That's another aspect of um, epigenetics, you know, gene expression. If the, the histones are too tightly bound, then your genes don't properly express. AKG being a key intermediate in the Krebs cycle, it helps with amino acid metabolism. And so say if you're on a high protein diet, then you produce a lot of uremic toxins. And so this can actually help bind to that to excrete them from your body. As not only does AKG bind to ammonia, but it also supports mitochondrial function within your kidney cells. It's been shown to do that. So supporting it filtering out, you know, urea and uh, creatinine as well. So that gets me on to my own reasons for using AKG. I do produce quite a bit of uremic toxins. Being on a fairly high protein diet, it's hard to avoid that. If you're going to the gym, you do need to repair those muscles. And so protein is essential. Another reason why I've been using it is my metabolite level of succinate that was low and I tested it back in October. I've been around eight weeks without using AKG. So, and this is another intermediate in the Krebs cycle. So under normal respiration, AKG produces this succinate. And so my levels have gone down. It, granted, it probably would have been lower still if I'd not been using AKG earlier on that year. And now with the True Health test, which has come available in the last couple of months, you can actually directly test your AKG levels. So that's something I'm going to be doing in a few months' time. It's a test you can do it in conjunction with your Denundin pace as well. Check out our 12-month rejuvenation program, where every three months we look at 225 different bar markers and get your future vitality optimised. There's even a six-month break clause if your situation was to change. Some biomarkers I keep a close eye on in relation to cellular senescence. It, one is IL-6, interleukin-6. So this is a major player in inflammation response and it's a central marker of cellular senescence. Another one is IGF binding protein 2. So elevated levels can impair IGF-1 signaling, driving a cellular aging and senescence. And this is particularly in tissues that uh, require those growth signals. 
And finally, there's red blood cell distribution width, and this reflects oxidative stress and inflammation, systemic inflammation, and so very much drivers of cellular senescence. And yeah, this is one of the most important weighted biomarkers in the omic clock, which is another one from True Diagnostic, and it's the most accurate clock out there for predicting mortality. It's 92% accurate. And by looking at epigenetic biomarker proxies of these three, then it gives you a much more stable reading, not a transient up and down like you might see with a regular blood test. So I've got my calcium alpha ketoglutarate from Time Health. I've been using them for four years now, really high-end products, good value as well. And it actually works out the same, buying it in the pill form rather than powder form. And yes, yeah, so I've been doing that for a few months. I've now switched to arginine alpha ketoglutarate. The reason why is I'm now taking a uh, electrolyte mix before working out. So that will help with like giving me calcium because I need lots of calcium because I have a lot of uh, foods high in oxalate. So that binds to them. And also I do genetically respond to arginine. Around 30 to 40% of the people I speak to don't really respond to it genetically. You do get some who do hyper respond as well, maybe like 30%. Calcium alpha ketoglutarate also helps with markers of frailty. It supports muscle maintenance, you know, reducing sarcopenia muscle wastage by working through anabolic pathways. But it's also been shown to increase bone and mineral density. So, uh, you know, this is obviously, these are things that uh, go down with age. So if you're purely taking AKG for longevity reasons, then having it bound with calcium, it has a more of a sustained release. Obviously the studies we've looked at, they're, they're looking at it bound with calcium. But if you're looking for gym pumps as well, it's faster acting doing it as a pre-workout with uh, the arginine. One other factor to take into account is cost. So the one from Time Health costs just over £20, including delivery when you use my 15% off code. So it's not an expensive supplement. When you're taking a lot of stuff, I do so many different supplements to optimize my mitochondrial function and biogenesis. And so we're doing a broad spectrum of things to optimize. Obviously, it does add up all these little things. So that's why I've switched to using the arginine, not just, obviously, I'm a responder as well, but it works out quite cheap. I do three grams a day of arginine powder. So to conclude, alpha ketoglutarate has a lot of longevity properties, and I'm very excited to see my Danundin pace. I'm currently awaiting results. It'll be in early March, and I think this could be a really helpful key player getting my levels of AKG up. So if you like that video, then check out this one on my Humaplex supplement. I also get it from Time Health. It has lots of detoxification pathways, as well as improving testosterone and many different things. Thanks for watching. See you next time.